hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're going to be doing something that is requested all the time. Aaron, how do I make a loot filter? Now you've probably seen that you can get auto generated loot filters now, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about making a loot filter from scratch, an end game loot filter from scratch. I'm going to take you through it step by step. Literally anyone can follow this guide and I've already done it three or four times live when I'm on Twitch. If you'd like to follow me on Twitch, first link in the description below. But since it's requested so often, I thought, why not do it together on this video? And I've got this druid. It's like level 60. I'm going to need a loot filter for it anyways. So let's put it on camera. OK, and we are just going to jump right into this escape settings right here. You will see loot filter, manage loot filters, create new filter. You click this, create new filter. All right. And we are here. Druid, uh, bring the pain. Is that weird? And we're going to pick what kind of image do we want? We're going to take some fire and some fire. All right. So you can put in title, you can put in description, you can pick a picture and you can pick a color. And voila, just like that, you have created a loot filter. But now, of course, you have to put in rules. Now, the way that I design this is the long way. I design it to make sure I don't miss anything and I can easily change it by having more rules. You can stack multiple things on one line. I don't like doing that. I like doing one at a time. OK, you will see. So what you're going to do is click add rule. OK, and we're going to hide. We're going to hide stuff first. This means that when it drops, you will no longer see it. So add rule, hide, add condition. Just follow me. OK, and we're going to start at the bottom item type. Hide, hide rule, item type, type. OK, so now on here, what do we want to hide? Well, we want to hide one handed weapons. We want to hide two handed weapons. We want to hide all off hands. OK, and I'll explain at the end why, because I don't need any off hands. I don't need any two handed weapons. I don't need any one handed weapons because I'm going to be using unique weapons for this build. OK, we want all our armor shown. We want all of our accessories shown and we want all of our idols shown and we confirm 15 items are now hidden and add. OK, we have hidden 15 items. Now we're going to go add rule. This is going to be rule two. Hide, add condition, and now we're going to go to rarity one up. You're going to click on this and say we don't want to see those pesky normal items. And we're going to add that. So now none of these items will be shown. And no normal items will be shown. Then we're going to go to add rule, hide. And now we're going to go to class requirement. Well, we are a druid, which is a primalist. So we don't want to see mage stuff. We don't want to see sentinel stuff. We don't want to see acolyte stuff and we don't want to see rogue stuff. And we're going to add that. OK, so now 15 items hidden, normal items hidden and non non your class specific items hidden. But we're not done. Now we're going to go hide again. We don't want to see all this junk and we're going to go to affixes. OK, now for this build, we're going to be focused on strength. So I want to hide everything but strength. And I always leave vitality because vitality is pretty much good for everyone. OK, then we're not using any spells, so we're going to hide all spells. We're going to hide all throwing. We're going to hide all bow. We are going to hide block, potion, dodge, ward, uh, minion, reflex. OK, cooldowns. OK, we're going to hide acolyte, mage, sentinel, primalist, because those aren't ours. And then we're going to hide Acolyte, Mage, Sentinel, Rogue, because those aren't ours. Now you can get this is up to you, right? You can get ultra specific and I like leaving it a little more loose because I do tons of crafting. But ultimately, you can go literally down the you can go into melee and unclick the melees you don't want. You can go into damage type. You can unclick them. You can go into all these different ones. I just like doing the overall buckets. But now when we do it that way and you hit confirm, we just hid 431 affixes. OK, 
So item types hidden, normal items hidden, uh, non-class specific hidden for your own class, and then affixes hidden. So now we've got our hidden items. But now we're going to move on to what you want to see. Okay. Now, technically, you can throw all this on the same line. Again, I like leaving it individually. I know it's the long way. So now we're going to go show. Recolor. I always use red. When people ask me why I use red. It's because it's the only color, in my opinion, that doesn't look like anything. When a set item drops, it drops kind of greenish. Magic items are blue. Exalts are purple. Uniques and rares are in this kind of, you know, brown, yellow. Uh, normal items are white, but there is one color that does not drop naturally with the exception of potions, and that is red. So I always use red. Okay, so we're going to recolor. We are going to go to item type. And now we are going to go to armors. Because remember, we hit all one-handed, two-handed, and offhand. So now we're going to start right at the top with helmet. So you click helmet. And then you want to take a look and see what type of helmet. Where well, we are a primalist. So you're going to click on that. And now we got to decide what kind of helmets do we want here. We want leached damage. And we want physical damage. The Dark Wolf Pelt and Horned Cowl. So we're going to click that. So those are two items that when they drop, they will drop red. But we also want to add a second line and go to Affix. Okay, you can just follow it. Only your character. Very easy. Now, what do we want on this helmet? I'm just going to keep it very generic. We want Strength. Okay. And we want Cooldown. I can spell. So we want cooldown recovery. Okay. Now, anytime one of those two helmets drops that has one of those affixes, it will be red. But what about all those other pesky helmets? We don't want to see those other pesky helmets. So you have to go hide. Item type. Armor. Helmet. And then we're going to hide all the other helmets with the exception of the two we want to see. What that means is we now have 41 helmets hidden out of 43, which means the only helmets that will drop now are those two. What a lot of mis the mistake that a lot of people make is they don't hide the items they don't want to see. So you have to click the items you want to see and then hide the ones you don't. And now we just go through the list. Watch, I'm going to go quicker now. Recolor, red, add an item, item type. We just did helmet, so now we're doing body armor. What body armors do I want? I want movement, physical resistance, poison resistance, and we'll leave it right there. Confirm. What affixes do I want? Again, just for the sake of the example, we're just going to throw strength on. Okay. But obviously you can pick, you know, whatever affixes you want. We want strength. Now, anytime those armors drop with strength, it will be red. And now we need to hide those other pesky armors. We go through and we don't want to see any of you. We do want to see the ones that we want. So now only the three armors will drop. Then you just keep going. Red, item type, armor, belt. Which belts do we want? We want the armor, right? What do we want to see? On here, you want mana regen. And you want physical damage. Okay. And it is added. Then we'll go right here. Hide. We got to get rid of those other pesky belts. Belt. Click. The only two we want to see are the ones that drop. Getting the feel for this, how it goes. All right, now we're going to recolor again. And I'll show you because you got to put a cherry on top once you get through everything. I know it takes a little bit of time. Now we're on boots. Boots we want are fire, stun, cold. What do we want to see on our boots? We want strength. And we want speed movement. Okay, so now three boots will drop red. Do you remember? See, you got to hide the other ones. We're almost done. Well, we're halfway there. Takes time. 
And we want to see those ones. So now all those pesky boots are hidden. Recolor, red, item type, gloves. Now for gloves, we want void. We want the top three. And on here, for affixes, you guessed it, strength. And melee attack speed. Bam. Done. Hide. Armor. Gloves. Now again, what a lot of people do is they just put everything on the same line. So you don't have to jump back and forth. But it's really easy for me to edit it this way. So I like it better this way. All right. So now gloves are done. No, no, no. Go away. Wrong button. Okay. So we have 14 rules in now. You see all the stuff we have hidden. And we've done helmet, armor, belt, boots, gloves for an endgame loot filter. And again, you can make it more specific by picking more affixes you want to see or more affixes you don't want to see. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but we are going to move into accessories. Now you go to accessories and we need amulets. What amulet do we want? We want this one, this one, top three again. And on here, it's a little different because Amulet is the only one that rolls with penetration. You want physical penetration, physical damage, and potentially strength. Okay. Now we got the Amulets on. You remember, got to go back, hide all those other Amulets. Done. And now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Ring. The rings that we want. We don't want ward. We like fire. Elemental resistance. Copper and silver. I really like silver ring. Movement speed is awesome in this game. So we'll take silver, copper, gold, and coral. And then on here, we want strength. And physical. Let's get physical. All right. Rings there. Hide the rest of the rings. We're just going all the way. We're going all the way. Okay. What did I say we wanted? You. You. You, you. Silver, copper, gold, coral. Yep. So everything else is hidden. Rings done. Recolor. Red. Item type. Accessories. Last one. Relic. So we want Primalist. Let's see. No Maelstrom. We like Aspect of the Shark. We like Endurance. And we like... No, it's not enough. Physical. Take some Resistances, maybe. We'll leave it right there. Antler. Blood. Spirit. And what you want to see on this is we'll take some strength. We'll take some physical damage. Okay. So now relics are good. But you know it. We got to hide those other pesky relics. All right. So we don't want all classes. We don't want mage. We don't want sentinel. We don't want acolyte. We don't want rogue. Primalist. What did I say? Well, we're okay with spirit. We're okay with blood, and we're okay with antler. All right. Relics done. So now we've got all of our armors, all of our accessories, and everything we want hidden. So right now you could take this out for a spin, but we're still not done. Two more rules. So now I go in, and I just want to show rarity, and I just put unique, exalted, rare. Or, I'm sorry, exalted, unique, set. I throw up these three and I just throw this at the top so that any unique set and exalted item always drops. The way these loot filters work is top to bottom. So if you have a rule that overrides another rule, as long as it's on top of it, you're good. Okay. And then last but not least, recolor. I don't make these red. I make it like this teal color, the brighter teal, this one. Confirm and I throw in specific affixes I want to see. And that is normally under 
primalist, right? So I want increased recovery team while or er, recovery speed while transformed. Crit strike multiplier while transformed. Melee damage while transformed. What else are we looking for? Anything else? Tingling root. Werebear form. Give me that. And that's it. So now any item that drops that has that affix on it, it will show. And then we can use those shards to break down for further crafting down the line. Add that. Those two. And that is it. Now, obviously, if you had an offhand, if you had multiple weapons you were looking for, then, you know, we would just have more rules done the exact same way as the body armor. Now, everything will work as it's supposed to. OK, let's see. Uh, all right. See, so we see all the uniques. Those are falling correctly. See, it's red. Uh, that's still working. The reason why we didn't use weapons for this is because we're going to be using Undisputed for this Druid build. So I don't care about finding any weapons on the ground, and we're going to use two-handed axes, okay? But that's it. That is an advanced loot filter for Last Epoch. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. You gotta, you'll click wrong, and you can make it way more advanced, especially for you know, the body armor for the gloves. If you're really getting, I don't want to see any loot unless it drops perfect for what I'm looking for. You can make it that way, or you can go in and really hide a lot of different stuff you don't want to see if you want to get very specific with your loot filter. But again, Last Epoch is all around crafting. So I like being a little looser with my crafting so or with my loot filter so that I get more drops so that I can craft more items. It's all about repetition, but that's it an advanced loot filter for Last Epoch. What does everybody think? What could I do better? I know I can make it quicker by putting it all on one line, but that's how I like to do it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said earlier, I have officially started a Twitch. First link in the description below if you'd like to go there and support. Always a good time streaming on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. ARPG community always blows me away. We always have a great time. Again, first link in the description below. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. And again, this loot filter is an end game loot filter. It is not used for early game. But technically, you would use the exact same formula if you wanted it to be early. All right, that's all I got. Hopefully, you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out. <laughs>